to add custom Weldment profiles, you'll first have to create the profile and then save it into a Weldment profile folder or create your own custom folder. I'll go ahead and open up a new document and I'm going to come into the options and take a look at file locations. So the first thing to do is figure out where your Weldment profiles are saved. This is the default folder for the Weldment profiles and I tend to keep it as is because I reset my registry quite frequently and so any extra folders I add tend to get deleted out and I have the bad habit of not saving my settings. But if you want to add in your own custom folder, you can add any folder location you want. I'm going to go ahead and browse into the Weldman's folder. So you can see within the ANSI inch folder, I've both added in the structural members that are included with the SOLIDWORKS content. So if you come into the Weldman's folder and download the ANSI inch, you'll have all of these folders. And then I went ahead and added a custom folder where I can add my own profiles. And the way I generally create my profiles is I'll just go ahead and drag one of these in and open it up. Delete out the profile in the sketch. And then I'll come in and draw in the new profile. You can do it other ways. You can create a sketch and turn the part into a library feature. That works as well. I prefer using this method because it's a little bit faster. Once I have my profile, I'll do a save as, go into that ANSI inch folder and my custom folder, and I'll just call this profile one. And then I'll go into my new part, create a quick sketch, and then come into the structural members. And you'll notice that the first selection is your standard, the next is custom, and then I'll choose the profile. and that'll add in my custom profile. I mentioned that there's two layers here because if I were to for example create a custom folder in the Weldment Profiles folder or whatever folder is the top level reference that folder will show up as the standard but then you'll be missing a type. So if you do create your own folder just keep in mind you have to have two levels down in order for those to show up. And if I added a file in there it would show up as the size but that's how you create and use your own custom weldment profiles.